Hi, I'm Silvio and this is a PS, a post scriptum of my last video slash tutorial. My last video was about transforming a battery operated item into some wall socket operated item. But this post scriptum is necessary, especially because of what I said in the last minutes, that with this technique some flexibility was mandatory and that's flexibility that caused some problems i think especially um, after what you have seen me doing i transformed this item here from battery operated to uh, wall socket operated if you want to know how i did it just look at that i need some precisions there I need to precise you and to show you something more, something different because you will not see every time the same thing when opening the battery box. So that's why I told you you needed to have some flexibility. I will do the same thing with this item here. I have it in French but I also have it in English. Boulangerie and bake shop. Obviously, this one is missing the little girl buying some uh, bread, some baguette francaise. But let's do it quickly. I will not replicate the same thing. I will uh, only show you what is important and maybe you have missed. Then I will switch to some different thing. I will switch to my PC because I needed to show you some real life example and I should uh, thank for that one of my uh, viewer Susan, Susan Stafford or Stafford, sorry Susan if I misspelled your name but Susan thank you for the cases you forwarded me uh, and the problems you encountered trying to transform some of your um, boot some of your, of your stall into uh, wall socket operated from battery operated. First thing, batteries. If uh, you have here the space for two AA batteries, let's look at the batteries. You know, you, yes, I know that you know the batteries, but it is important that you pay attention. I simply hide the, the, the brand there. There is a positive and a negative of each battery. And each battery is 1.5 volt. So positive with the button on, button on top, nothing on the negative pole. But everyone knows how they are done. But it is very important to start from there. I already opened this one, the bake shop, and it is exactly as you have seen last week, with green there and black there, negative and positive. Why I'm saying that? Because if I open this to, ins to insert the batteries, okay, you have inside as always a spring a spring and nothing where you connect the spring the spring is always connected to the negative like that okay once again i let i need to change the batteries but it is the same they are not operated with some AA battery, but with some AAA batteries. But they are always at 1.5 volt. Mm. So I was saying here, well, where do you don't have the button connected to the negative of the wire, of the battery, and etc. like that, okay? So spring negative, positive there, okay? And here you have the switch. So this is positive, this is negative, because here you have the spring, okay? Spring, negative, positive. If I reverse, and I can also mark it, 
or you can mark it on some um, on some paper if you want. So here it is positive, here it is negative. Okay, positive of a, with a plus and negative the other side. If I reverse, here you have positive on the right and negative on the left. So if I reverse and it is switched on like that. If I reverse, I will have positive will go to the left and negative will go to the right. So this is positive and this is negative. It is reversed, but it's normal like that when you reverse something. So this is the negative, the black is the negative and the green is the positive. That's why I said, yeah, I haven't tested it, but following the batteries, simply like that. And in my last video, I didn't cut there. I didn't cut here, okay, or the black. Now I know that the green is positive and the black is negative. I simply could mark it if I don't remember or remember it and cut there and attach the positive and the negative wires from the wires that go to the AC adapter like that. But instead, I did this, guys. Look precisely, I will approach the camera because it's something that it was important. I should have pointed it out. I simply did this. I desoldered the green and desoldered the black directly where I have the connection with the battery. Not here on the switch, not there on the switch, ne anywhere else, but I've desoldered the green here and the black here. This is one of the solutions. Let me redo it. I did this. Okay. And then the same thing with the black. Like this. I don't know how to show you. And then simply use the, my soldering iron. And then with the tip like that. And then I connected positive and negative, drill a hole in the battery box and came out. I haven't done anything else. This is the focus point to identify directly where is the nearest point in contact with the battery, positive and negative, and act directly there, directly where this little piece of metal that is uh, so, uh, um, iron, obviously, uh, or some other material conducting electricity, and directly connected to the battery, and I desolder it there. Or the solution, and it is intuitive, guys, instead of desoldering and then going towards the uh, adding the positive here and the negative there, I could have simply soldered the positive from the wire here directly where I have the battery and the solder at the other wire here on the tip there. It's exactly the same thing. A little more difficult because you risk to desolder trying to solder something together. So instead I preferred to desolder something in my case because it is uh, easiest to do. The, the, the easiest thing, it is easier to do, sorry, the easiest thing. That's the main point. The solder, the positive, and the solder, the negative. Not a trying to follow one wire there and the other wire there, <coughs> or if you have multiple wires, where it is possible to be the positive and the negative. If you follow this, you are sure that this is positive, this is negative but it can be difficult, I know. Why? Let me have this there. Because sometimes when you open something, you can have <coughs> multiple things inside. 
let me try to explain with this and guys the I haven't <laughs> took out of the box this little guy here in ages in ages this I think this is from 2014 when my children my son and my daughter still lived at home and uh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry still my cold affected me and at the time uh, scale of the buildings wasn't that important this is 12 volts because I modified during the time what it is connected there. So, and this is optic fiber, so multicolor. But the point is another one. Sorry, maybe you haven't seen it totally. But what is important is, at the time I didn't use, I, I was, wasn't using some resin, but a hot glue gun. And guys, look at the difference, more clean the resin than this one. So, from the outside to the inside. And here you are lucky because the red is positive and the black is negative. Red wire positive, black wire negative. What I did it instead, and this is, was a particular other case where once inserted the batteries, and originally this worked at 4.5 volts. This time I think they were like that. So negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So this was positive and obviously this was negative. And in this particular case, it isn't used this pin here. Hope you are seeing it in this case. The positive and negative were aligned, okay? Negative and positive there. But in this case, the positive used was on your side on the diagonal, okay? So, oh, sorry, the, the little screw. The positive was here, the negative was there. Because I simply follow where the, the batteries were, where they connected. And here, what I did, it is exactly what I just told you because even at that time I knew how to solder so the wires here are bigger so I took the positive wire and I soldered it where the other positive singular or plural doesn't it, it's not important positive was soldered them together here also the negative where the negative was and soldered there and in this case I had um, if you follow everything sorry if you follow everything you get a negative and a positive that goes after the switch so the negative goes directly to the circuit and the negative that is in this case uh, sorry, it is absolutely the opposite. The negative goes directly in the in the circuit there, and the positive goes to the switch. Okay, connected to the other red. The red goes in in the middle there, because how oh, this is old, it mm -hmm. is completely rusted. So the positive goes sorry there. The positive goes on the switch in the middle position of the switch. Then from the switch comes out the blue wire and the blue wire and the blue wire goes into the blue wire. So, okay, simply like that. But once again, two wires, it is another technique. But I haven't cut any wires. I didn't desolder here from the switch or any other point. I go directly where the batteries are connected. The screw goes there. Another example is this one. This one too was from an old time old guy. If my little ones are <laughs> my little ones, no, they are grown up, they are not more little ones. So here again, a large number of wires everywhere. Okay, 
large number of wires, plenty of wires that goes from one point to the other. Okay, that goes from one point to the other. Plenty because you have lights inside here, light here on the fiber optic, and lights inside and LED inside the lake. This is a fiber optic trees, and then you have also an LED inside the house. This was once again 12 volt because I modified these two. <coughs> Originally, in the, it was 4.5 volts. Here, what I did, it is a mixed version. I followed the same process, uh, plus, minus, plus, minus, and here I add the positive, and here I add the negative. So I soldered the negative there, the negative wire there, and then desoldered the positive that came out here, because the other wires were too, uh, too short and then at the time it was done very quickly okay and you can see that the positive the big positive that I desoldered okay was this one the orange one the orange one <coughs> Uh, that was here, the, this wire here, the orange one was connected down there. And instead here, you also have a resistor. <coughs> this little thing here is a resistor and I will tell you in some minutes in front of a screen why. But I can already tell you it is to protect the um, the LED from overcharge, from over tension, from over voltage, okay? And in this case I connected here the red wire in, hopefully in this way, to the orange and to the resistors that goes to other three red wires. Okay, over another three red wires. So I have here <coughs> orange and three red wires that are positive. And here, obviously, I should have another same number of wires. Three white plus one white. It comes out from the switch that are the negative ones. Okay. So here, but in this case, this was like that. But it was too short, okay, it was too short, I needed some space to work, so I desoldered it. Otherwise, it would have been like that. The resistor was connected there with the orange, and then I connected the, my red wire. But here, to the battery point, <coughs> it could also be modified. So, really important, guys, identify the plus and the minus that comes out from this little thing there, from the battery box or any other thing you want. That said, let me switch to my PC before getting back there and show you one last thing. Good guys, I'm now in front of my PC, still with my cold, and I will be using uh, Photoshop to show you some real cases uh, of that uh, flexibility I was talking to you about, and that is absolutely mandatory. If I will be able to do uh, this part and to show you those examples is only thanks to Susan, one of the viewers of the channel, uh, Susan Stafford, and Susan, please forgive me once again if I misspelled your family name, it wasn't my intention, but with uh, foreign um, family name, I'm always a little bit in difficulty trying to spell them correctly. Susan, uh, uh, 
had some problems identifying the correct uh, wires that is only because of me because I shown you in my uh, previous video some real simple sample example of how to transform a battery operated boot into some wall socket operated one but it's entirely my fault <coughs> so in the next minutes I will show everyone what is that flexibility let me start with this little <coughs> Uh, picture there. I've used the song red, yellow, green and blue and white LED. The standard ones 3.3 volts. No, not all of them as I already told you when I did my uh, tutorial on street lamps. The only two that works at 3 volts around the 3 volts and that is the forward voltage voltage sorry are the white and the blue maximum 3.2 volts normally you get around the 3 volt and then around 2 volt 2 volts and 1.8 volt so green yellow and red if you use 3 volts I don't say that you will burn them in a fraction of a second, but very soon you will burn them because the voltage, the tension is too elevated. Instead, the white and blue can go directly connected to some uh, AC adapter with 3 volt setting. <coughs> and in order to limit the voltage, you will need some resistor that we will see why simply because of the ohms low voltage equals intensity multiplied by resistance this is the original ohm low so uh, in reality with LED is different a little different but this is very important <coughs> let's see this the resistors plural or singular that will need to be used to prevent the LED to burn is equals to the voltage supplied the voltage from the AC adapter minus to which you will subtract the voltage that function the LED which makes the LED function correctly in this case for the blue and white let's say 3 volts so if you use 3 volt as voltage supplier and 3 volt for the LED 0 divided by something always equals 0 so you don't need any resistor if you decide to uh, power the LEDs or the boot or everything else with 3 volts <coughs> okay but if you have a green LED that means that 3 minus 2 equals 1 1 1 divided by 0 0.02 that is 20 milliamps equal 50 ohms because the resistor the unit or for the resistors is the ohm stop there so if there is a difference of voltage between the source and the function and the functional voltage of uh, the LED you need to use a resistor and you will uh, you will uh, understand in some minutes let's start with this picture here okay let's start with this picture here okay let me check if i have the correct dimension for the pen no let me go with 42 yes like that this is as I stated there the chocolate boot hot drinks for me chocolate boot and susan there sent me this picture of the switch 
and we need to have two black wires there, one red wires there, that goes to one of the pole there, of the battery box, and I can see one little thing there, that is the resistor, that goes there, okay, that is connected to the other uh, connector, the other pole of the battery box. But you aren't supposed to know which is the positive and which is the negative. Only following the battery, as you have just seen, you can identify where is the positive and where is the negative. I suppose that, that those are the negative ones. Let's go more in detail. This is how the wires were connected guys so once again <coughs> take a general look and here if you see something like that is only because sometimes they do the same thing for multiple purposes and these booth there could also be equipped with some music and you have holes in order to get out the speaker needed to get out from the inside but there isn't no speaker there so no music and right now i see the difficulties because you don't have two wires but you have a red wire and the resistor connected to one of the poles but let's suppose that they are always the same so if the switch goes to the negative it doesn't it doesn't matter if in this case i'm reversing but you simply need to identify let me call this the negative pole and this the positive pole like that in this case you have not two wires i can understand the difficulties and then from the resistors get out two white wires that go inside to somewhere and even from the switch two black wires that goes inside that may cause problems because you don't have two wires but you have four wires getting inside plus one resistor coming from the battery box and guys please not every resistor is the same the bands control the color the color bands there on the resistor control the the uh, the, the units of that resistor in this case it doesn't maybe uh, seem correct on video but those two bands here are gold this one is red and this one is not gold but it is brown i don't know precisely what this correspond to but there are many apps for android and for apple ios that can be installed on your phones even there are uh, websites that can show you but brown red gold gold equals 1.2 ohm ridiculous because if this is powered with 3 volts, this is only a way to try to prevent and to prolong a prolongation of the lifetime of the LEDs. But this was useless. It means that the LEDs from the boot there works, works at 3 volts. Maybe they are whitish or bluish and not green and other colors but this resistor is brown red gold gold and not the opposite one because the first band can never be gold so I know that the first band is brown red gold gold and brown red gold gold correspond to 1.2 ohms ridiculous so what should be done here to option you solder one wire there and one wire there 
or you disorder this one and you disorder this one and you uh, solder the relative wires so the easiest way you disolder this one here and you solder it to the negative wire that goes to the AC adapter in this case you disolder the resistor from this point there because I told you those are the two points that needs to be th that you need to focus on you disolder the resistor and you solder it to the positive one if this is the positive and this is the negative otherwise simply solder them in the opposite way okay <coughs> I know that in my video my first video I told you about wires but in this case you need to be flexible don't disolder there and use the wires simply or one of them or two of them and don't disolder there or just disolder this one and this no because you are searching for the wire so you use maybe this wire here and one of those on both of those if you have a, a resistor it is meant to be use it it is meant to be used so don't eliminate it or them from the circuit okay picture number b it is always the same from another angle but it is clearly that the red goes into the switch and they use the colors like they wanted not always true that the red is positive and uh, and the black is negative so in this case they have connected a red with uh, a black not a positive with positive but simply because this was negative and this was positive and the positive goes inside as I told you but it is the same exact thing okay <coughs> and this is called reverse engineering guys identify where the positive and negative don't worry if they are inverted I repeat simply do the, the opposite okay but use this point as starting points in a way or another you will manage to get them connected correctly okay simple don't exclude anything and in this case instead of using some cutted wires that will prevent the switch to continue functioning if you solder the wires there you just simply disconnect the batteries and replace the batteries with another source the switch will continue to work this switch here okay on and off will continue to work this was the chocolate boot let me close them I will not use them anymore let's go to another boot the one that was already disconnected and I will show you sorry the error there okay <coughs> another difficulty there okay let me enlarge this one you don't have two wires but you have three wires four wires and something else okay and all with the same color <coughs> most probably it's not in plain focus but you will understand those two wires were disoldered and not from the same point and you can see that inside went three wires all with the same color green 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 but 
whoever make build this marker with blue paint this wire and with red paint this wire. I suppose that as this is too short, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Those two wires were connected to those legs there, here and there, because I don't see any trace of soldering there, but I can see one there and one there. Okay, then some plastic, uh, same thing, the space for the, um, for the speaker, and then here. Let me switch to this one that is much better. And by the way, all the wires get inside from the same direction. <coughs> Another thing, this resistor here is different from those two resistors there. Okay, this one is orange, black, black, gold. And as I told you before, gold can never be the first band. So the first band is the orange, black, black, gold. Orange, black, black, gold equals to 30 ohms. That is an elevated, an elevated value for this resistor. Those ones are red, red, black, black gold 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 so red black gold gold and red black gold gold is two ohms ridiculous so i suppose one or many of the leds are whitish or bluish okay sincerely i don't know where this went because as it has been, as the two wires have been desoldered, I can't identify another wire. But as they cut it very short like that, maybe it was intended for the speaker or other things. Okay. <coughs> but anyway, those two are the same. So I suppose that this one that is 30, okay. 30 ohms and ohms are marked like that okay 30 ohm you got one green why i'm talking about green because three volts minus two volts divided apart by 20 or 18 it is between 30 and 50 of resistors, okay? Maybe 25 and maybe 30, but not. A resistor of 30 ohms will be good to protect an LED around 2 volts or around 2 volts. So green or yellow LED, okay? Green or not red, it's too low to protect. A red LED so two volts are a yellow or a green LED was inside there and the error there sorry Susan was to desolder the two wires from the resistors okay the correct way of doing that would have been i know that here it is green here it is black and other two green were connected to the resistor and this green here is connected to a pole that is different to the two other green wires that were connected here and here but they use the same color but the important thing was to identify the positive and the negative and once again I'm supposing this is the positive and this is the negative and in this particular case the resistors aren't connected uh, let me go once again yes I suppose but it doesn't matter if it is the opposite and in this case the resistors 
who are connected to the switch, strange or the case. Once again, you need to be flexible because from the center uh, of the switch came out three resistors and those three resistors were connected to the wires. Don't look at what is after the two connectors. If you simply identify the positive and negative and then disolder the negative and disolder this one or vice versa, you simply add to connect the corresponding wires from the AC adapter to those two wires. Once again, solder them there or desolder from the battery connector and solder directly the wires to the, to the um, AC adapter. I know from other pictures that you have tested this booth here to work with the battery having, sorry, having excluded the resistors. The green or the yellow LED will soon break for this low here, okay? Soon, or one may be already broken, okay? The white and the blue, if you have white and blue, can work without the resistors. But those two resistors there were intended, were intended, those two resistors there, were intended for the white and blue colors. This one is intended for yellow and green colors. Okay, maybe also red, but I don't think it is powerful enough to prevent the red LED to explode, no, but to break down. Okay? You had to experiment, Susan, but in this case, desolder, desolder, and resolder. I know. This may be panicking, <laughs> having so many resistors and so many wires that haven't different colors. A jumper there, but it goes from one pole of the battery to the switch. And the other were the same connected there. But as I told you, I can't stop repeating those two points. Those two points are the main, sorry are the main important points, okay? This is flexibility. Uh, last boot, guys. Sorry, Susan. Last boot, the popcorn boot. So this is more complex, more pictures. <coughs> more pictures let me go with popcorn popcorn uh, a1 popcorn a2 popcorn b1 popcorn b2 popcorn C1 and C2. Why I'm starting from this one? Because as you can see, <coughs> I can clearly identify two batteries, spring, so this is negative, button there, this is positive. So in the opposite way, on the top, here you will got the positive here you will got the negative and it is certain like that because it is the batteries that command these things so if i'm reversing so let's say i see here some white and red wire white and red wire from popcorn a2 let me enlarge the air. so <coughs> this is positive this is negative, with certainty, okay, positive and negative. Let me go to popcorn B2, 
popcorn b2 very difficult so as i stated where i have Popcorn A2, sorry. So where I have red and white and not simple red, it is positive. So here, B1, red and white, it is positive. Here, it is negative. This case is the opposite of the black cases where you add exactly the different, okay? You add inverted, supposed to be positive and negative and vice versa, but this is another battery box, okay? What you have here? I see there is a motor, so not just LEDs inside, but also motors inside let's analyze the wires no resistors so everything works at 3 volts 2 batteries 3 volts everything work at 3 volts something strange there is a white wire here and a black wire here that are going nowhere consider them to be non-existent simply because as i already told you those are manufactured for multiple purpose maybe here it is missing the speaker and go that goes to the speaker one from each side i see there that this red one is following the direction here so it goes directly there and it goes there and it goes inside there okay then the white that is here connected here goes there let's follow the white goes inside from this direction okay and those two wires are different colors but who cares the important thing is that they are connected both to the positive pole that comes from the battery so red and white are both positive not one positive and one negative it could uh, you sh in this way it should have been a short circuit this red one that is not the same as this red here because it comes from another pole they simply add at the, their disposal some more red wires and the red wire and they went from this pole here to this pole of the switch nothing more that's why I told you you can use whatever wire color you want you simply need to remember where they are connected to some logic some flexibility once again here some more flexibility colors wires of different colors doing the same thing and and also wires with equals colors doing the opposite thing flexibility guys and I imagine because I don't have it clearly I think no but let's imagine that those two black wires there are connected in the middle pin of the switch and the black wires if I have a white and red that are positive I also needed two negative wires and one black it's very strange because it's doing this this getting there getting here that it is fade but it 
goes there like that and then goes inside there okay and the other red and the, sorry and the other black that is the more visible ones goes there one red for the LEDs, one black for the LEDs, the white and black that goes there, I suppose they are for the motor, okay? That is the motor. It should have a motor or something else inside. Maybe this seems a lot like a motor that goes there, white black and one here and one there black and red so in this case forget this wire forget the black wire there simply and this is another case desolder this and solder it to the negative wire that goes to the AC adapter or the opposite solder the wires that come from the AC adapter here together with this one but it is the difficult solution here <coughs> you will need to desolder this throw away the white you don't need it throw away the white and solder the positive from the AC adapter to both these red and white here to both of them okay uh, soldering one to one or two to one is always the same you simply need to roll the wires together and then connect them and then solder as i already shown you simply forget the black desolder desolder throw away the white solder two to one solder one to one not trying to find the wires from the switch or a junction there no i never told you that one wires need absolutely to go to one one wires and not one wires to two three or four of them in this case the flexibility is i've identified that here there are two wires connected to the positive from the battery then the same two wires need to be connected to the positive of the AC adapter. Nothing more, nothing less. Rest engineering, but it's simple an analysis. Let's analyze everything. Popcorn, B, B2, nothing special there, no. Yes, no, nothing special. Popcorn, C1. Uh, nothing special there, popcorn C2, this one is from another angle, but it's always the same, and yes, this one, uh, it's more clear, the, the black here, but it's always the same, so, always the same, those two points are the important points. <coughs> and I think you need to continue to use that method of analysis, those two points, every time, every single time. And remember, remember, and remember, okay? I'm not here to teach you a lesson of electronics or physics, but this is minimum mandatory for the LEDs. Colors, don't forget the colors, different colors and different voltage. I want to show you one last little thing before ending this PS video. Let me return to the workstation. Good. You have just seen some other action and before closing this PS video, let me show you a couple more things that I may, that may be useful. 
in my videos you have seen me striping the wires like that okay okay then and using this little cutter there because during the years I'm used to it I go gently around three or four times then I strip okay let's approach the camera once again okay Maxim so I repeat I took this clipper here and I go gently around three or four times just in order to uh, cut the plastic and not the copper wire then once I'm satisfied I apply the same force and I pull up there like that and the two wires are being stripped but if you aren't uh, good with that with that method you can always use a wire stripper guys this is a wire stripper it is also marked in it very old at least i think 30 years old one of my first strippers uh, i use it that are intended multiple purpose and obviously those are marked in millimeters diameter 0 75 1 1.5 2.5 4 6 etc and this is marked wire cutter because also you can cut the wire like that and it is cutted one piece there and one piece there so it is for ignition terminals here you can cut like that also okay and you can stripe also like that but i want to show you that you simply need to identify the correct diameter this is too large this two is too large i think the four is too large let me check this one okay it doesn't go inside so 2.5 millimeters i get inside i close i apply the maximum force possible i simply take the handle like that and then i simply need to pull the wire back 2.5 is still too little too la little okay too big the holes then i go to 1.5 okay the same thing i place it and i strip i don't have any copper wire inside so it's not four it's not six there it's not a six it's not four it's not 2.5 it's 1.5 millimeters diameter external so i go with the 1.5 millimeters uh, 1.5 it is six four these six four this one i apply the maximum force on the handle and then i pull the wire back from this side and it is stripped at perfection stripped at perfection i can also use more than once are more like this like a clipper like this with no from the handle but the opposite way you use them like that but simply search for wire strippers anywhere important thing is to have multiple wire holes there and you can also use but you need to be a more used to them the point there 1.5 you have also here 1.5 on the tip and this is a little more difficult because you need to go around sometimes and it doesn't get precisely cut so wire stripper guys important 
wire stripper if you aren't used to these clippers there that for me is the best because versatile small etc the wire cutters are big but if you have difficulties stripping wires it is intended for you <coughs> let me show you one thing how to solder as i just told you something like that two wires to one wire okay two wires here i have two wires i will strip them as i uh, <laughs> i'm using two in this case like that one and two okay in this case i show you a booth that had this necessity to solder two wires to one wires I simply go this way. I took the two separate wires that are connected to the battery box. I roll them together after having stripped them. Then I take the one wire from the other side, from the, bat the C adapter, and I roll it to the two of them. And then simply add some soldering wire to them so it's just not a matter of soldering one to one etc you can also go two to one three to one four to one but you risk to have a too thick oops let me go like that a too thick wire so i need to elevate the temp okay in order to get outer and otter and otter and then do that until I'm satisfied those wires are very big to solder them together but I can solder them together like that okay like that simply like that and they are soldered together impossible to take them apart one last thing because i already i also sorry told you about that <coughs> how to solder one wire to a resistor here i have a smaller resistor okay uh, i've shown you that in some cases you have <coughs> no you i don't have them there okay the ones you have just seen on photoshop are uh, way, way, way bigger than this one this is the a resistor uh, brown black black gold gold I, yes i think and it is only a quarter of a watt but this is a resistor the design the form is identical how to solder a resistor to a wire the same exact way you solder uh, an led to a wire just simply remember that this leg here is more flexible okay is more flexible but it is like an led leg so you simply need to put some some where we are here some soldering on the on the uh, resistor then do the same thing <coughs> with the wire like that and then one or the other you simply go and take the resistor take the wire and goes like that and you will solder them together maybe like that hope you still get it simply get ones connected to the other
like that a little more time okay and it is connected and it is soldered it took me some more time to cool down because i'm using an elevated temp 480 degrees instead of 322 but once soldered it is the same way and in this case it is one of those cases the AC adapter here the resistor that goes to some switch or something else and uh, <coughs> and then getting wherever you want this is the case of the single resistor you have seen okay here you add the positive or the negative i don't remember correctly right now but simply desolder the resistor from the from one of the poles there from all the poles and then solder the wire from the AC adapter to the uh, resistor. The other cases where an error where uh, you don't need to desolder a wire connected to a resistor if the resistor is not in one of those two points but it is in another point, those two points. That's enough guys, see you for the outro. P.S. Flexibility is mandatory. I already told you once. There cannot exist an item similar or equal to another, as you have just seen. Maybe from the outside, but surely not inside when you open it. It can happen, yes. Only if you buy multiple items from the same manufacturer at the same time. But it happens very rarely. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my cold, my awful English. And see you very soon for something else. I hope. Bye, guys.